Hey, how's everyone doing? It's Indy here with Emptor Audio. Well, today we're taking a look at the Aurelic, the B10 Bluetooth audio transmitter, and also the S10 Plus Wi-Fi music streamer. But a $20 difference between these, and these are not so much for, you know, hi-fi listening, making things sound absolutely incredible, but they are definitely for, you know, a solution product. So it's somewhere in between, sort of. Um, of course, the S10 Wi-Fi Music Streamer, it's quite a bit different than, of course, the transmitter because this is going to be adding in, um, like, Bluetooth to an older system. Uh, when I do reviews, I've got a lot of older equipment that I like to use, but I don't necessarily have a lot of older sources that I like to use. So, of course, having something like this, you can Bluetooth to your phone and then have a line out to RCA, optical out. It's super easy to use that way. Now, of course, you're going to find lots of options for wireless music streamers out there. Um, $69, $69 is going to be about your usual pricing on this. And, of course, here is the S10 Plus actually in person here. And... What's funny is it looks just like the BT-10. Uh, in fact, the back of it is almost identical too. Check this out, here's the back. Almost identical, but some slight differences here. Actually, it's just in a different order. <laughs> I didn't realize that. It's actually a different order of the um, number of devices on the, or sorry, the number of connections on the back here. Uh, both have six connections. We've got a line in, line out, USB, and of course the BT-10 has an optical in, and the S10 Plus has an optical out. So if you're wondering what is the difference here, the BT10 is actually going to be adding a Bluetooth out, say Bluetooth to headphones, is basically what it's been pretty much designed for, and that allows you to, of course, add in another Bluetooth endpoint or Bluetooth, you know, something else into your system. And that's kind of why the BT10 is a little bit cheaper, it's a little bit simpler to do, it doesn't actually need any real streaming capabilities there to use, it's just going to be a simple Bluetooth transmitter, and of course that allows you to mostly just use headphones, and of course you can do the two Bluetooth devices and the line output simultaneously as well too. So pretty cool little package there for what it does. Of course both have the app, so that's always really nice, and of course with the S10 you do have see right here just the usual you know chi-fi remote this is pretty standard for most brands here so this is what it does very very cool you know standard remote <laughs> nothing too crazy about this thing at all there so it works fine it's you know very light i, I like remotes that have some you know solid you know density to them and unfortunately this is not one of those remotes um, audio quality though i've used these a couple of times now they're just okay you know there's nothing crazy about them or like wow that sounds absolutely incredible um, they're pretty basic little boxes for what they do but they do the job well and I've used these a number of times actually on jobs. You know, I, I had a client who actually had um, a barn on their property that they use for events, and they had a Bluetooth receiver there, a Bluetooth streamer, and it was giving some issues. Of course, it was outside, you know, so it's not going to last forever. Um, but I swapped out to the S10, not the Plus, that's the new version I've got now, but the regular S10. And it worked absolutely flawlessly, and it's of course still working flawlessly now too. So a Relic does do a good job of overall build quality on these, but at the same time, I think that they really nail the app interface on these as well too. They do a fantastic job of just getting the apps down, remote works. You just need a product that works. A Relic does a fantastic job at that. Now they do kind of kind of tread that line of are they for audio quality hi-fi stuff or are they just for solution products they kind of aim right in the middle um it's not one or the other they kind of try to get you somewhere into both is what really what they're going for i think they do a pretty good job at that they're not going to be you know absolutely excelling with massive amount of bluetooth range on these things um they're not going to be you know incredible audio quality they're going to give you somewhere right in the middle be at a really really good value and that's what they do just absolutely amazing here so both these devices, the BT-10 and, of course, the S10 Plus do a fantastic job at a really, really good value, too, which is pretty nice for what they both do. And, of course, there's other things you can do with these, too. You know, they've got, you know, the actual hardware of these to your LAN, which is awesome. Um, having optical out is always nice to have. You know, that gives you a bit more options when it comes to um, a couple of different um, encodings, of course, you have there. And of course you have a USB-C is going to be your power for both of these, which is awesome because 
a lot of times we're gonna put these things, you're gonna find that you don't have a lot of space and you're gonna wanna use USB for these. So that is awesome to have for both of these. And <clears throat> I'd like to see pretty much everything go to USB-C it would be absolutely incredible, especially for power. And of course these things use such little power that going USB-C is definitely the way to go for these things. Um, actually, it would be kind of nice that they did have all the connections in the back the same, although that would make them a little bit more confusing there uh, for us to be, you know, installing and servicing these things. But they are labeled on the front, so you can definitely tell the difference, no problem. Uh, if you also want to use that USB stick as well, too, you can just feed audio right into it from there. Um, that's one thing I definitely did with my install with a client in their barn. Uh, they wanted to be able to have clients connect their phones via Bluetooth to something to feed into the audio. But if they also just want to say, hey, here's a USB stick with the music we want to play on repeat, there you go. You know, that works also really well, too. So great options. It's definitely a solution product. So if you're looking for something that's going to be super hi-fi, super sounding good, not the product for you. But you just want something that's going to be affordable, get the job done, you know, and be simple, straightforward to use, but also have an app. There you go. The Relic S10 Plus does a great job at that. And of course, the B10 does a great job at just, you know, giving you a Bluetooth out option. If you want to feed, you know, something else, you know, you want to feed maybe a cable box, you know, get the audio off of that. You can, of course, feed that to um, like two headphones. There you go. Super simple to use. So honestly, these work pretty good. I tried them out a couple times myself. Did I've actually done installs with one of these, not the current model, but, you know, the previous S10. Works absolutely phenomenal. And that's gonna be really about it for these units. They're really basic, easy to use, but yet I think they just nail it when they're trying to accomplish these interesting solution products. They do a fantastic job with this. So guys, if you wanna check them out, um, they are on Arillic.com. I'll leave a link to Arillic.com in the description. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care.